They take all three points in the derby. Uh, significant as well with regards to their hopes of qualifying for the Champions League. It puts them now six points clear of Real Betis in fifth. With three matches to go, they should be fine, shouldn't they, to finish in a top four place. Uh, for more, let's welcome in Luis Garcia and Sid Lowe. Luis, this was all about Champions League for Atleti. Got the job done. Yeah, exactly. Um, you, you could see Simeone praying and looking up, saying, yes, give me one more. Please give me one more. That's the importance of this Atletico de Madrid uh, today's game. Uh, it was all about uh, doing the job. It's true that in the second half, the game kind of uh, broke in two pieces, the strikers and the defenders. That's why... Oblak was so angry, but she have put this game to bed early on. I think the Carrasco had a, a couple of one, very, very clear ones, Cunha as well. They did a, a fantastic game, even a few minutes from uh, Griezmann. I enjoy watching them. Condobia was, for me, also very important to try to keep the balance. But it was about uh, uh, arriving to this objective. In the beginning of the competition, they need to challenge uh, to win the La Liga trophy. But as soon as they realized that it was going to be a very, very difficult season, the main target is to get in the top four and wish that the next season they will start better the competition. And I think they've done a great job. Three next games, I think they can win against Celtic. It's the first one. Real Betis is going to play against Real Madrid in the last game of the competition. So probably winning against Celtic is all job done. Uh, Sid Lowe, pitch side. Sid, what would you like to say? I suppose to pick up on, on, on that sense as the game went on of Oblak getting more and more edgy. Uh, and we had him just in front of us and, and there was the, there's the miss, the, I think it's the Carrasco miss that goes over the bar and, and he, and he kind of kicks at the air and he gets furious when Madrid are allowed to, to approach a little bit. And I suppose, look, this is the context of the significance of this result for Atletico Madrid. Obviously the context of the fact that Real Madrid have turned games around nine times this season, including, of course, in midweek against Manchester City. And there was an edginess towards the end because I think he felt, as I think probably quite a lot of the people in the stadium did, that at some point Atletico would end up paying for not taking their chances. As it turned out, of course, they didn't. Well, Ancelotti and Real Madrid, Craig. Well, it, no, well, that, 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 significance. that's what I was going to say. That This was the, the perfect time to have a big Madrid derby between these two teams. I mean, big in, in the sense it was big for Atleti. Yeah, and, and for the fans, you want to win any derby, but there's a bigger picture for Real Madrid. So... This was a perfect scenario. You had the uh, winning the title last weekend and the celebrations from that. You had the most mesmeric comeback against one of the best sides in Europe, plus 120 minutes yep. of football, and some of those players played. Now he's resting players on top of that, key players. So it was absolutely the perfect time for this fixture to come along when Real Madrid, apart from playing for the pride of, of Madrid, had nothing else to play for. But they still made it nervy because the finishing wasn't clinical. Sure. They could have had this game wrapped up within the hour. Should yeah. have had the game wrapped up. Uh, but that sort of sums their season up. Look, it's obviously huge for them to get in the Champions League. Simeone knows with this squad, they should have been in there comfortably. They should have been challenging for a title. They're not. So the least he needs to do is not fall over and let Betis get yeah. that full spot. It's yeah. probably not going to happen. Sure. It's very unlikely to happen now. That's how big this was for them. But I just think it was perfect timing to play this fixture. And of course, Sid, significantly, significant financially as well for Atleti. Yeah, very much so. As we were talking about before the game, after that defeat against Levante, one of the things that came up in the conversation between the manager and the sporting director and the president, and then when those three then went together to speak to the squad, one of the, one of the things that they really impressed upon the players was, look, if we don't qualify for the Champions League, we're in a position where financially some of these contracts probably can't continue next season, that things will have to change. So there was a direct threat there to the players. Maybe not a threat, a warning perhaps is, is a better way of putting it. So it's very significant for them financially. Simeone actually admitted yesterday, very publicly, said, look, yes, we budget. We budget for the Champions League. And so if we're not in the Champions League, the impact of it is very, very significant. And I agree with what Craig's saying, that the fact that they've won tonight means if they go to Elche and win, that's it, it's done. More importantly, I think it means even before the Elche game, there's less concern, I suppose, about the fact that Sevilla come here. And there's less concern about, that's a game where maybe it could slip away from us. You could be in a position where ultimately that game doesn't really matter too much.